Hey, what's up guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandra.com. Uh, today's video is going to be kind of a little special one. Uh, if you guys have been keeping up on Fandroid, you may remember not too long ago, I dropped my Nexus from uh, 2 inches, which is about yay high, and completely cracked the back, screw the back glass here. I wasn't too happy about it. It's the first smartphone I've ever damaged in such a way. Uh, I've had drops from other smartphones and they lasted up just fine, but the Nexus 4, uh, they went with a non-gorilla glass, very thin glass backing, and I think is really st stupid and silly. But besides that, um, I'm actually going to try to repair it. So I found a replacement back here. Uh, this one doesn't have the little nipples or the little, uh, I guess you can call them nipples there, that this uh, newer model has. Uh, the newer Nexus 4s actually have this little thing to keep the glass from touching uh, surfaces or laying flat on surfaces so that a change in temperature won't cause them to crack because, yeah, that's what used to happen with some of the old ones. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put it on. So without wasting any time, I got this little screwdriver doohickey from Target. It was very, very cheap and it was like two something. It's got this little uh, tiny piece here which all looks kind of like a Jewish star. And that's how you're going to undo the screws here. And from what I understand or from what I think will happen, all you need to do is remove these screws here and then the back can come off like a normal smartphone back. So there's one screw down, and hopefully everything should be easy peasy to get it uh, cracked off. Take out your SIM card tray before you probably even start. I feel like I'm going to crack the glass and it's going to stab me. Gosh, I don't want to hurt myself. Alright, and then we're going to remove it just like we would any other. There we go. So we're going to go to the right area first, here. All right. So the back is off. Oh man. Doesn't look like NFC is going to work between the version I have and this one. It looks like it does not come with NFC at all. So there's some like little gold connectors here I can see. Um, the volume rocker is missing from this one. So we're going to push these out just like that and they pop right out. You can see they're kind of like little clips. And they just slide right out from whatever they're hanging into there. There we go. So let's push this into this one. There we go. There's a little thing that slides underneath. And then there, that's in there. Nice and nice and good. And that slides underneath as well. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Uh, about the NFC part, it looks like I'm not going to be able to fix that at all. No NFC for me. This is getting gruesome. It's on there so good. And here comes little tiny glass shards and pieces from where the back broke. And they're stuck to my NFC. Oh, this is a wireless charging. So you're not going to want to get the wireless charging out of there because it just pulled off glass and I have little glass shards all over everything. Probably not what you want on the back of your phone and everywhere and on things. Oh my gosh, I hate you LG! Alright, so let's just put the thing on. Um, um, this is just gonna snap back in like normal, I'm guessing. Snaps back in, easy as pie. But uh, from where I bought this, it was so cheap that apparently it doesn't come with wireless charging, so I had to sacrifice wireless charging in order to get this. And then uh, from here, just put your screws back in and you're good to go. Just like that. And uh, then you're going to have a nice brand new Nexus 4. Almost brand new. It's not going to do wireless charging anymore, I'll tell you that. At least it doesn't look ugly as hell and the little shards aren't getting into your skin like they 
like they were when I broke it. Yeah, Nexus. Nexus. All right guys, so that's how you quickly and easily repair the back of your broken Nexus 4. Of course, like I mentioned before, you're gonna wanna be careful to uh, purchase a better non-generic case from eBay or wherever you find them online that actually still have NFC and the uh, wireless charging built into them. Mine unfortunately doesn't, but it was only $40 on eBay, so. With that, I'm Chris Travels, Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.